All right, all right, all right. <laughs> this is a little bit of a, uh, of a different video today, so we'll be uh, diving into Skyrim Creation Kit, and I want to show you know, the first video got <laughs> messed up. I tried to record and create my first mod. Uh, that recording got corrupted. Uh, if I only caught that towards, uh, I think it was towards the middle when that happened. Okay, let's see, put that there. And basically, let's see if I can recreate my steps and I can show you how I created my first mod, which was the reimagining of a sniper rifle. I'm going to try to do a bunch from uh, Mass Effect into Starfield, but the first one I did was the M29 incisor. So I actually grabbed the, the mag sniper, I converted that into a three burst. It's a fun little sniper. So let's see. First of all, when you start up the creation kit, you gotta go to data. You gotta load in your Starfield ESM. You hit OK, but I already got all that loaded up because it takes a few minutes longer than it should. <laughs> it depends on the power of your computer and mine. I want to say mid tier. So we got that loaded and under. I believe it was text filter. We looked up the weapons. I just started typing in mag and mag sniper popped up. And under the editor's ID, uh, basically I right click and duplicate a copy of it because we're making a unique weapon. And under there, it brings us up to the general tab for that weapon. I changed the ID, so I call it a. Uh, Zeus Fear Mega underscore Omega Tick, which is going to be the theme uh, of all the creation. So, if we go expands from weapons, armors, maybe ship weapons, we'll see what we can do and create as I learn how to use this tool and all the <coughs> uh, all the tutorial videos out there and catch up with this. The last time I messed with the creation kit was way back in the day, a little bit of Skyrim. Uh, back then, I tried to create a bow and arrow that shoots three arrows instead of one. Didn't come out that good, but eventually got that point. But anyway, so the ID, I uh, did it with my gamer tags, so will be easily found when I upload it to Bavesta or to the creation, which is freaking amazing. So. For lower reference, Omega Tag, Weapon, or WEP, Mag Sniper. And for the name for the weapons, Omega Tag M29 Incisor Mag Sniper. We got a bit of a description. And I guess we'll go from here under the General tab. You really want to change the instant naming rule. Because default, I believe, would be on either coming gun or melee. It depends on the weapon you're doing. We'll switch it to none because we're gonna do some custom stuff, and this is gonna just a unique uh, rifle that's gonna show up in the player's uh, lodging in the lodge in New Atlantis. And one thing I noticed is that under the aim tab, every time when you go back to edit or basically start a copy or create a new weapon somehow it always gets reset back to none so you do have your choices for unarmed pistol shotgun rifle laser tool and custom crosshair one which is for the the laser the cutter tool uh, but i like sticking with rifle with rifles it, it, that will go down and apply it. that way it doesn't change back let's see and i start t uh, tweaking or modding this rifle starting off with the ammunition because I believe originally the mag sniper has 12 in the mag I up that to 15 to match um, the old sniper rifle from Mass Effect because I think it was 15 rounds 3 round burst will give you 5 shots and I believe ammo list and override projectile I kept those the same so it would just be the mag sniper shot but you can get creative you could change those around have it fire particle, lasers, the ballistic, even the, the grenade launcher rounds. But that's for a future one. 
So I kept the number of projectiles down to one, uh, impact to one. Maybe I should change the number of projectiles to three. But we'll see when we test it. Under the arc tab, I didn't mess around that much, neither with audio or the turret. But under charge, uh, originally it was enabled and has the whole for, uh, input. I unchecked those, that way it has no charge, so as soon as you pull the trigger, that burst is shot off. So we uncheck those, kept the, the numbers the same. Under damage, I did bump up the base damage to 300 from originally it was set to, I'm not sure it was 215, 218, somewhere around there. I just upped it just a little, just to see the difference. And the crit multiplier was 2. I had some fun around with it, so we made it to 4. And down here under the range area, range of damage uh, has minimum of 100, max was 150. Oh, I didn't change it to 200, so I didn't. Uh, originally, I changed this to 200 to have no damage drop off at like the maximum distance with the max sniper. Uh, don't want to mess with those settings. Because I got it all set and I already uploaded the file. Because <laughs> if I change these and update the this mag sniper that's already up, eh, maybe in the future. But I'm just showing what I've learned in the process of just creating this and letting you guys join in the fun of my <laughs> my journey in learning how to use this program. All right. So we do the changes. We'll go over to firing. I changed the type from single to burst. You could have it if you don't want the weapon to show like the shell casting ejections, but I don't think the mech sniper has it because it's just a solid round, caseless, I believe. Mm, let's see. All right, shots per second. They're left unchecked. And basically, I left the attack speed. All the numbers the same just to test it out. Let's see, we didn't change anything. Flag, general, as we did the description, we changed the rule. Melee here, you can actually change the damage when you bash an enemy with it. But I kept those uh, the same. But this is where we mostly did our changing and modifications is under the mod tab. Yeah, because this one was a, a learning curve in itself. You see in here in this window, we got the uh, objects. This is where you do, um, you can change the mods on the weapons and add uh, legendary effects. We got three of them on there, so it's legendary. So under the mag, we got penetrator rounds, and this is where one of the ones I made custom, because it only has a single fire, so we had to create a whole uh, new receiver for burst fire. I'll probably go after, or explain more of that at the after all the mods we put on here. So basically, barrel, I went for magnetic rails, high power for the internals, uh, for the laser recon sight, I went for medium scope, but you can still change the stuff on the uh, in the weapon bench and right here under well, I think it just reset back to any tiers but under this you double click and it brings it down to quality I think one was was it basic refine oh I forgot the tiers but basically, gray text, blue, purple, and legendary. You want to set it to quality 4. And once you change it, you want to click off that selectable tab back so it actually stays and holds it with the selection you made. You see, we didn't do any weapon skins. We can skip that. And down here under mods, well, we got weapon uh, 1, 2, and 3 to make it legendary. So we. Selected instigating hitmen and shattering and the easy way to add that is clicking on the to add a 
table element. And from here, we could just type in, I believe, mod underscore. We'll start typing in legendary. That would bring up uh, all the ones for the helmets, armors, packs, and down here under weapons, you got all those. So you pick the ones you want, you hit OK, it will add them in. But the one I had to do and change and had some fun actually learning about this is the one for the burst fire. Let's see, I'll bring up the uh, edit page. Actually, before that, you see how the item ID says mod mag sniper receiver, and, and if you're changing it from the original, it'll be uh, single standard because it changes to burst fire standard. So let's bring this over here, and under your main objective window, if we go in here and type in What's it? Mod underscore. No, it's what the shit. Mod underscore. Mag. We'll bring up all the ones for the mag weapons. Let's see, I'll bring that down so you can see a little better. And under the editor ID, we gotta look up mag. Got mag pulse, mag shear, mag shot, mag sniper will start coming up. We got internals, laser, mag, mod group, muzzle optics, quality, and right here, where you even see the copy I made. So originally it will say mag sniper semi auto standard. We do a quick right click, duplicate, and brings up a copy of it. And from that copy, we edit uh, the object file. So we want to create one for burst. So let's bring this back up. And on here, yeah, let's bring the center. I changed the ID so we have burst fire under name, got burst fire. And over here on object modifier data. We gotta swipe or change it from. Uh, I think it was set to semi-auto. We select burst fire, and from there, I had to take a, a look at another mod. Let's see. Let's bring that back down again. I had to look under the drum beat because I was trying to pick a weapon that had a, a receiver. Add burst file. So we select that file. And with the mag. Alright, we got the mag sniper one on our right. And the ones we copied the property uh, modifier. So basically, the OB. Verify rate of fire. We copied that, or basically everything in here, we just copied over. So we've got rate of fire, delayed seconds, shots per second, burst delay, uh, aim model template, the burst or drum beat burst, and burst per shots. We copy those over. Let's see if we hit cancel this. And to make sure there were some things we had to double check. Because I learned if you have it set to add, it just adds the three shots to a single burst. If you have multiple plus add, it'll take the original uh, rounds that the weapon fire. It'll add a, an additional three. So originally I was firing four shots. I'm like, what's going on here? I had to go back and change that to add or set. Let's add. So we had all that. We changed the name. We changed it to burst fire. We hit OK to create that. It gave it a new name. 
So under our receivers, we have our new burst fire receiver. So we select that. And in this objective window, we have to make sure we have use all selected for all the modifies we did. And that should be it, because I believe under power, reload, we left everything on here the same. So we'll hit cancel that, but you usually hit apply, okay. You create your new weapon, you give it the name, and you once again search for in the text filter, especially when you give it the, uh, the name with the WEP. That way we can find it quick on the editor ID. We click and drag over, we'll drop it off into the player's uh, lodge room. It is right there, ready for picking up. So. At this point, you can't forget to go over file, save plugin, you get your plugin set, you load up, let's see, we have this on Starfield. I'll load up the save file right at the lodge, right before I pick up the weapon. Let's see. Hopefully I don't have issues with my Xbox controller again. Because somehow, yesterday I was trying to do this and I got this weird error or I'm not sure if it was signal from the controller. I got to double check and redo the settings for the controllers, but I couldn't aim with the joystick anymore. I could move with the left stick, but I couldn't aim with the right. It was stuck to the mouse. Let's see. Those shaders this time. Oh yeah, because we relaunch everything. There is already checked off in creations. So the load. I think we'll save number five at the launch. It's got pop up with uh, the original file. I'll try to test on and had to delete that because it had some error and start a new and we came up with a new rifle or the new settings for it let's see how long's gonna take to load maybe a minute or two there we go the original esp for the first sniper one get no yes we'll load in Nasty scrape. And by the way, how do you guys like the new circle overlay? That way you guys to see most of the screen. I'm planning to do more of these tutorials and see how it comes out. doing this with one one shot no edits no <laughs> decreasing load time there it is we saved in there's the amazing sniper so let's pick that up equip it five shots three round bursts no reach nor no charging for the mag sniper. Damage. I want to say that was a successful creation mod with the Starfield creation kit. I'm kind of happy for that. Let's see. Let me do this. Let me 
let's swap that. Swap that feed. We go to our Xbox. Just to show you. Yeah, it's Xbox. Live in the creation, because when I originally did this, it was just what, the other day. So when this video goes up, it'll probably be two days in the since I uploaded the mod. So, if you guys take a uh, take a moment, go try it, go download it, let me know. And let me know which one you want to see uh, do next. Which sniper rifle or which weapon. Because I got a list. I got some in mind. But it's hard to choose which one's next. So I did this one out of whim. Just that little thought popped in your mind. It's like, what if we tried this? How would it come out? I'm like, what architect would be best for this rifle? So I got a few of those to choose out. <laughs> but for now, that was awesome. And I forgot my original outro. <laughs> well, I'll just let you guys off. Just, hey, go check it out. Test it. Let me know. Because I believe you can leave comments on this or leave comments on my video if you're catching this on YouTube. But anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.